All right. Hey, everybody. I feel like it's been forever since we've seen each other, but maybe it's just not. It's just in my head. It just feels like it's been forever. So we are going to dive in. Um, we'll do housekeeping at the end. And if you have any questions, just let me know and we can figure that out. Um, last week on the Slay Squad call, there was, was it Slay Squad? Yeah, I think it was. There was some really helpful information that I wanted to take to this call so we could do it hands on. Can you hear me okay if she's kind of gibbering? Okay. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through it. It's gonna be an exercise. It's gonna help you find your market, your branding message in all the things, but you're gonna have to sit down and type out your story. I'm gonna, um, it's using AI. So it's gonna be really cool. I haven't done it myself, so I'm super excited to kind of dig in. But the gist of it is, you're going to type this prompt, which I'm going to put into the chat. Um, all my buttons are somewhere different. Here we go. You're going to type this prompt into the AI, um, whether you use Google Gemini, which I believe is free. I'll type that in here. Hey, man, can you be quiet? Gemini. I don't think I spelled that right. One second, let me figure out how to spell it. I have it here. Two eyes. Okay. So if you want to use Google Gemini, I'm going to type it in the chat. Thank you. And um, that one's free. You can create an account, but you don't have to. And the goal here is to type that prompt in, and then you're going to add your story, like literally add your story. So it's pretty cool. Like, obviously I didn't do it, but she did it real time during the call. And, um, yeah, you guys can share yours. And the key here is don't leave any details out. Don't make it short and sweet. Like literally do like your start to your end of your story, how you got started, the type of people you're looking for, and really just dig in to, why you're showing up for this business and anything you can think of that comes to your head regarding this business. Um, so I'm going to read it out loud. I know you know how to read, but it's going to provide a comprehensive narrative detailing your personal brand journey for this business, highlighting the driving forces behind the deep commitment to the work I do as a body partner. Based on this narrative, AI is going to develop you a brand strategy guide encompassing those seven things. So you yourself are going to type in your comprehensive narrative detailing your personal brand journey, like why you're doing this, why you keep showing up, what is important to you, what do you want in other customers and other body partners, like in all the things, just dump everything in there, like use adjectives, describe yourself and all that good stuff. And um, Karina, if you want to share yours, you can. But this is going to give you some clarity. This is going to give you this message of like, oh, I am branding. This is me. I'm my brand for this business. We're not the brand of body. We are our own brand that offers body as a solution for people. And I think we forget that because we post body stuff all the time in the names of the programs, which is perfectly fine, but they're going to join That's you because of you. They're going to join because you're speaking to them. They can relate to your story, your struggles, um, the things that are really like having you show up and all the things they're going to choose you. So that's going to give you, this is what you're going to get, like your AI strategy to um, really just focus in on who you are talking to. And then in turn, you can use those key like trigger words into all your posts and really focus in and you are going to find your people. And I think it's going to be amazing. Like when I was listening to the call in Slay Squad, she kind of goes into a lot more detail, but it was kind of giving me chills and all this energy. And I still haven't done it because I moved. So I'm so excited to do it here with you guys. Um, but we'll let Kareen share hers. And then I like can't copy and paste. paste. 
It was doing this, I think, also on her call. So I don't know if it's like some sort of weird format and you can't copy and paste it. I have it and I can read it for you if you want. I don't know if that's easier. Yeah, you can just to give them an idea if you want. Yeah. And then you guys can, we'll just take the um, even 10 minutes to do our own after we kind of hear Kareen's and start brainstorming. So it's literally so easy. I am trying to find like what words I wrote down. Um, and I did this last week. I probably can't even find the words. But so mine came out to be like one was my brand tone and personality. So is motivation and uplifting. You inspire others with your journey and positive attitude, approachable and down to earth. You understand the challenges of mom that what moms face and relate to them at their level, enthusiastic and energetic. Your passion for health and fitness shines through your communication. Number two is core identity, the empowered mom on the move. You help busy moms prioritize their health and well-being without sacrificing family or fun. Um, three was guiding principles, balance is health and fitness can fit into any lifestyle, even a busy mom's progress over perfection. Every step towards a healthier lifestyle is a win community supporting and motivating each other is a key to success. Four was my com communication approach. So authentic and honest. I share my own experiences, struggles, and triumphs. I'm informative and educational. I provide valuable information and tips on healthy living, I'm encouraging and supportive. So I create a positive and motivational environment. So then like my five, my brand pillars. Um, so these would be like the things that you would be sharing like on the regular health and fitness for busy moms, make it achievable and realistic balance and sustainability. Health is a journey, not a destination, building a support system, the power of community and reaching goals, fun and enjoyment. Fitness doesn't have to be a chore. Make it a part of your life. No excuses. Anyone can make healthy choices regardless of their circumstances. So I think I wrote something in there like, like I know my big picture I wrote, I was a personal trainer. I wasn't seeing results. I wasn't following a good nutrition program. I have two bad knees. Um, I am a full-time working mom of two. So like those were like not very specific, but not super specific. Um, my target audience are obviously busy moms. They juggle family work and personal well-being. women who are health conscious, but struggle with consistency moms who want to be health, a healthy role model for their children. There are driven and ambitious, excuse me, women who want to achieve more in life. And then seven was my emotional response. So empowerment, helping moms feel capable of reaching their health and fitness goals, hope and inspiration, I show them that a healthy lifestyle is attainable for anyone. Motivation. I encourage them to take action and make positive changes and community and belonging, foster a sense of connection and support along fellow moms. So mine's very mom based, very busy mom based. But what all I did was like write down like. I don't know, it was kind of like a weird thing, but like I just kind of word vomited and I put it into Google Gemini and I was like, that was cool. Um, Morgan on my team, not Morgan powers, but Morgan Holmes, she shared one in ours, our team page too. So she did it right after the call. Um, it's just a really cool thing. And then it kind of can help give you ideas of like what content to post. Um, but yeah, so everybody takes some time to do yours and I guess we'll have to just verbally share it unless you guys can figure out the copy and paste. I don't know why it's not letting you copy and paste. Can you copy the prompt that I sent you guys in the chat? Okay. I wonder if it's because it says like brand strategy guide or something and it's like blocking it because I remember people tried to, I tried to share it on the call last week too and it would not let me. Yeah, I, you had to email it to me. So is everyone's good copying and pasting what I sent in there? Um, so you're going to go to Google Gemini, which Becky put the link in there. You're going to copy and paste that prompt. And then where it says cut and paste your description here, that's where you're going to type your story. And Kareen literally said it. It's literally like a word vomit of all the things you can possibly think of, like your whole story from start to end, why you're showing up, what you're looking for in a partner and people that you want to work with and all that good stuff. So we're going to take 10 minutes. And you can always go back and add stuff, edit it, but let's just get a feel for it and get some energy going. Um, I'm gonna set an alarm. Stop what?
And if you guys have any questions, just type them in the chat and we can try to help you.
How's everybody doing with it? <laughs> Good. Ten more seconds. All right, did you guys hit enter? All right, I'll give you a second. I'm gonna, I didn't read mine yet. So if you guys wanna take some time to read this on your own, but um, I want you to scroll down to number five. And this was something she talked about in the call and any of you guys can emphasize that we're on the call if it helps. But five key themes and brand pillars. This is potentially going to be your rotation of posts. If you're struggling with what to post, go back to these pillars. This is what you can be sharing. This is what you can be talking about. And then in number six, it talks about target audience. And maybe this is going to help you kind of narrow down your niche a little bit if you've been so open-ended. And maybe it's going to help you find your people instead of talking to everybody. And I think this is so cool. Um, I don't know. Do we want to like, are you guys reading them and being like, wow, it knows me. Like it's pretty cool. And it puts it into cool words. And I know, I think Kareen has, but I know Becky definitely um, uses this for her posts all the time. So now that you've put this in there, save it somewhere, know your pillars, know your brand. And then Becky can give an example, but it's like, hey, create an Instagram post about X, Y, Z and make it short, sweet and fun. Like, go ahead. If you want to talk about it more, this is magic, especially if you guys struggle and get held up with posting and sharing content because it makes it so easy and just puts it in words that you want to get out, but you maybe can't. Yeah, you said it perfectly. I don't need to restate everything you said but really the biggest thing that I do because I've had prompts like this I mean she did a training that I was on a power hour so I already had things similar and I just go in and like this so I would say and with Gemini the great thing is is you can just keep building on top of it so you can save this in your phone somewhere but I have so many recents on my left hand side that I could go back and I have stuff about jujitsu for what if I'm doing posts about that and I'll go to the jujitsu one versus my brand post versus Brene Brown therapy so all the different stuff I do I go back and use it um so it's all here but for this I would then go in and say okay, speaking to my target audience, because it already knows it just put out your target audience for you. So speaking to my target audience, create text for my story posts that I am putting my workout videos on. To my target audience, put an emotional response that sounds supported in my voice would based off of Brendan Bruchard and if you have a trending sound, I'll even say like all I'm using the trending sound women's world by Katy Perry or whatever that is. So it will know and base it off of, okay, you're using this trending sound. You want to talk to your target audience. And then the part that I love the most about it is if you go to, if you're using Google Gemini in particular, show drafts above where it just gave you that it usually gives you how many options one two three four options if you didn't like the wording of one you can go and look at the three drafts which are just little tweaks in the wording so especially for posts I might pick and choose things from draft one versus draft two but yes I am not creative and I use Gemini every single day for all of my posts and all of my content and you can even say create a 
content strategy plan for the entire week using my target audience. Hi, Brady. Oh, she's so cute. Um, but yeah, and then it can tell you, okay, Monday post this, Tuesday post this. So using this framework that you just created, you can continue to build off of it. And I highly recommend. Thanks to Becky. I also use this daily. And I was just telling Morgan the other night, cause we went to a Cincinnati um, event that we were, that we planned. And she was just like, I just don't know what to post. And I was like, let me show you something. And you just literally write down, you could write down like three words and it'll create like a whole post for you. And like Becky said, like you can go through the draft. So like, maybe I don't like the whole draft it gives me, but I can pull and put things together. Like I have seen a difference in my posts since using Gemini. And like a lot of people are like, Oh, you're using AI. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not good with my words. Like I can talk all I can, but when I try to put it into words, it just doesn't come out the way I want it to sound. And you want it to sound excited. You want it to sound genuine and you want it to like, you know, kind of like, you want it to be a real, like you want to reel them in. Um, what did they call hook is what you want to call it. Um, but, and like she said, she, I, I don't always get it right when I'm trying to be like, do it in Brendan Bouchard's voice. Cause like, if you guys know who Brendan Bouchard is, like he's amazing. And just like, you can hear, you can hear it in his words. Um, it doesn't always work, but you can use Brene Brown. You could, you could literally use, um, Rachel Hollis, like people like that. And it can just create a post like that. I didn't know the music thing. So that's pretty cool. And then if you have like an idea of a reel, it'll tell you like, this is the photo you should use. This is the content you should post. This is a free resource we can utilize and can really help us create content. I didn't realize you could create a schedule either. So I know Jesse and I've talked about this and she's like, well, how do you know what to post every day? And I was like, I mean, I try to like keep it the same. But this way you could write in ideas like Monday, like be like, create content for me Monday through Friday. And you can just be like nutrition, fitness, family, recipe, like different things like that. And I guess it'll do that. So that's pretty cool too. Thanks for sharing that, Becky. And to that point, I just want to say, I literally, <laughs> this sounds so bad, but I want to tell you anyway. I was not going to call into this lay squad call because I was like, I hate AI. It's so stupid. And I know you two use it, but I'm like, I hate it. It's stupid. Sorry, Brooks, it's um, and I called in and I'm like, wow, this is like a masterpiece. I need to do this more. I need to make sure I, um, I need to make sure that I am um, using this more often like it literally changed my mind because I got on that call and I'm like so grumpy I'm like I'm not doing that this is so stupid I'm just gonna call in and she sent that prompt and I'm like oh okay let's do this so I know a lot of you guys struggle with what to post and you're probably like skeptical but I am really excited to start using it and I promised myself like now that we're settled moving and all the good stuff I'm gonna get growth day and get into my routine and all, use AI, all that stuff. But I hope you can use this as a tool and just pull bits and pieces of it. Like they said, do you guys have any questions about what came up or anything at all? Wanna share anything? I just wanna add, just because we were talking about it, I just went in and said, using my target audience and, I didn't spell that right, but I said, using my target audience, create a social media content plan for me with this week, for this week with a mix of carousels, reels, and static posts. And it came up with Monday. I'm doing just a static image, eye capturing picture, and it gave me the text. Feeling overwhelmed by the week? Don't let healthy eating fall by the wayside with hashtags. Tuesday, real video theme before and after transformation short and fun video and it tells you exactly what the video is exactly what the text is for wednesday carousel post image one image two image three it tells you exactly what to put for each image image thursday and then it gave me option two and 
yeah, we can just continue to adjust. So it's really amazing. And I love it because it's just work smarter instead of harder. We have these tools, everyone is using them and it really does help. And I guess the one thing to finalize and add is I was on a compliance call today for um through the platinum presenters if you know that's like our superstar upline page um and they talk about and we can share like the compliance like what do you do and don't say and i will say a lot of times with my body content um they add hashtags like financial freedom or time freedom because of what my motivation is and my story and those are things we are not allowed to say. So just being mindful of like when you use AI, they use a lot of that stuff. So honestly, you might even just put in the income disclaimer and the product disclaimer in AI and say like, make sure you use these and don't use these words and get that out of the way too, because otherwise you have to do a lot of editing, but that's it. I think I heard instead of saying freedom, if you're like, I want financial freedom, you say finance financial flexibility um mine came up with that uh freedom yes. online when I typed it in so exactly so and then that's it you just change the word to flexibility and and that's that but just being mindful because it does give you time freedom and money free financial freedom frequently so being mindful of those things um yeah that's it thank you and I think you can correct me if I'm wrong as you do it more often it, and edit it, it gets your voice better. So it will adjust. Um, so yeah, other than that, does anyone have anything else to add? Uh. All right, I, we're gonna end on time, which has been our goal for the whole year. Um, if you have extra time, I challenge you to kind of mess with this, read what it gave you, Make a post today if you haven't posted. Um, just like explore and you do one action based on what you've gotten from AI today. Whether it be post on your story, you could even probably ask what to say about this call when you post a little picture of this call. Like, oh, I was on a power, it might've been hers. And she's like, that if you put, if anyone puts one more time, team call and tags me with no content that's helpful I'm gonna come find you and punch you in the face she said something like ridiculous but so be she said I'll punch you in the throat <laughs> oh even better <laughs> but it's like being mindful of like through AI what you're sharing in your market and your brand but also if someone's watching your stuff and they're not in the body world um do they know what a team call is say what you learned or what you shared or what your vision is or what your mission is or why you're getting on and and i think that will help everyone and get your message across better um other than that no new housekeeping on my end body lava has launched we still have 40 dollars off the total solution packs which makes it the same price as just getting the year of body with a month of drinks for free. We're halfway through the month. You still have a ton of time to reach your goals. Hit success club. Success club points now qualify for a trip to Cancun next year. And it's definitely possible. So am I missing any updates or anything like that? I did try the zero sugar, zero sugar added chocolate vegan and it's actually delicious i i actually like it i thought it would taste like cardboard and it's really good so i definitely recommend it i almost like it better than the other one so if you've had people that say shakeology is too sweet tell them about this because it does it tastes more natural if that's a thing i feel like it tastes like the i got i have the chocolate and i feel like it you can taste the chocolate more and yeah it's like it, kind of smoother if that makes sense. Right. Like you don't taste the stevia, which I didn't even realize until I think it's the stevia I was tasting in the other ones versus yeah. this one. I don't know how to explain it, but yes, I would explain it that way, but I don't know if it makes sense until you try it yourself. 
anything else that anyone wants to share? All right. Well, I apologize for some baby whining and craziness, but I hope you take one action tonight and then get some sleep and we'll kick things off tomorrow. See you guys.